Hey man. <laughs>
heavy breathing. <laughs> yeah, no. All right, let's get this other one. Oh, wait, we should probably measure it. Are you just like changing the focus in and out? Oh no, you're zooming. Yeah. No, I reckon just put it on max camber and chuck it in. Max camber, you reckon? Yeah. Alright, now we're gonna measure. <laughs> Are they both filming? Yeah. Nice. This is how I'm measuring how they're supposed to go. So, this is the stock one, and that's causing the top, uh, the inside of my wheel to hit my strut. So, I have to make this one longer so the top of the wheel sits out further. So I've got a bolt through the bottom holes, keeping them like at the same height, the two bottom holes, and then I just kind of made it a little bit longer. That's that's my uh, that's my theory. Should I work. Think it'll work. And now I'm just going to match this one up to this one. To the other one. How the adjustment works is, you got your inside locker and your outside locker, so you lock like you you can. When it's off the car, you can just spin the head in and out. But when it's on the car, you got to unlock them, twist the middle one to adjust it out or in, and then lock them back up. It's pretty standard. You're pretty much a professional, they say. I actually am. They call me a professional camber armorer. Yep. That's it's an a, actual title. That's a good title. So I got these from Jack Import Spares, right? But look at how JDM they are. Oh, they even got Japanese newspaper. Japanese newspaper. So if you want to learn about... You don't even know what it says. Kika u ni nari... Can you read it? Ta i. Yeah. I used to learn Japanese. I have no idea what that means, but I can read it. <laughs> yeah. It looks like, like skincare or something, or like shampoo or something. I don't know. Cool. Someone tell me what that means. So, I got the new arm in here, as you can see. Nice and blue. And now I'm just uh, popping it back in with my my semi-eyed adjustment to give it a little bit more camber, a less camber rather. Yeah, hopefully I'm not scrubbing when I drop this back down. That would be ideal. And then we still got three more to go. Yeah, because we're lazy and we like just talk shit for hours and don't actually work. But anyway, so I finished the first side, pop the wheel back on, uh, and Jamie's going to do the other side, and I'm going to film it for you. Is that part of my wheel on the strut there? Yeah, that's like metal. Yeah, it's alloy from my wheels. Even that side's rubbing. I didn't think my right side was rubbing. I thought it was just my left. There you go. So he's taking off the front bolt there, as you can see. Um, same as last time and now he's onto the back bolt. It's just a little bit harder because it's so tucked up under there We pushed it down to loosen it last time. Oh wait. No. Um, yeah, you have to push up. Yeah, that's why it's harder this time Yeah, that's what I hate about suspension <laughs> Is one side of your car is way easier to do up and one side of your car is way easier to um, loosen How cool is this shirt? What's it from? C's garage. Yeah, C's garage shirt. What's that? They're like Drifters, New Zealand. Uh, Haven't you seen them? Nope. Uh, how hot is it? <laughs> Wait, it's boiling today. I picked the worst time to work on my car, like the middle of the day during summer. We've got a heat wave right now as well. Yeah, there's supposed to be 40 degree heat today. Just so Jamie got that bolt off. Oh, Ooh, there we go. Me. Hell yeah. Yeah, now we're just going to put the other one in, but we got that one out way quicker than the other one because the washer came right off. It, like, wasn't a struggle. <laughs> so pretty much just the reverse process of getting them out. So as you can see there, that's like the little bracket where the two prongs sit on top of. Like that. Obviously the bolt goes through the middle. And then, way back there is where the little round bit goes in the center and you put the bolt through it. Now as you can see it's all bolted in, we've got this bolt done up. Up the back there we've got that bolt in, goes through the bushing. And yeah, that's how you do it. And so as you can see with the adjustment here, this outer one locks the whole thing into the arm. So you want to tighten it that way into the arm. 
The middle one here, that's your adjustment, so adjust it to wherever you think necessary for your camber or whatever you need. And then this outside one here, you lock it against the adjustment one to make sure the adjustment stays in place. So yeah, we've got them in, put the wheels back on, take the jack stands out. Do you want to lower it? Yeah, that sits so much further out. Oh my goodness. Have a look at how close it is to like zero camber now, Jamie. Yeah, it's still a bit of camber, but nowhere near as much. As nowhere near. It was like 1.6, 1.5, something like that. It's probably down to like one or something, just under one. We're gonna go get food and then come back and do the fronts and hopefully do it, finish it before it gets dark. Oh, we get rained on. That looks stormy out there. Yeah, it looks real stormy over there. Cool. Yeah, let's go get food. And in classic Brisbane fashion, it has started absolutely pissing down rain. So now I can't finish this until the weekend. I guess I'll just cut it here and do part two when I can get the front ones in. So if you could like, comment, and subscribe, I'd really appreciate it. And have a good one, guys. See ya. He doesn't need it. He reckons he'll, like, he's fine to give it to me. So I'll give it a go. See if I can get some extra boost out of it. Shout out to Deliveroo for delivering us some burritos. And shout out to Guzmini Gomez for making the best burritos ever. All right, wheels back on. It's like tighten on as tight as it'll go. Matt's fascinated with forward.